Hey everybody, back again. I'm gonna try and get a few of these done for time constraints. That's the reason the same hat and the same t-shirt. But um, I'm gonna go back to finishing my Riker cases and the Beatles memorabilia stuff that I have in those so I can move on to, I don't know, whatever's next. So first things first, I have this little tie tag pin enamel of John Lennon. I bought this a long time ago. Um, back when uh, I bought everything that was out there that I could. I said then I come into, I've never seen these again, but it's an enamel yellow submarine pin of John, Paul. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. There's George, and there's Ringo. But they're just enamel pins. I bought these, I don't know, sometime in the early 80s. I don't even remember where. I've had them ever since. I have a John Lennon rock and roll enamel pin. These I bought at a Beatle Fest back in the 80s before they were told they couldn't sell them anymore. But that was back when there was no cartoon stuff on anything and that's a little card that came with it but they had cartoon ones submarine ones stuff like that and then because I had the four enamel figures I got an enamel yellow submarine pin I also have a enamel rubber sole pin and these aren't even my buttons all my buttons are in my button case I'll get to those eventually the knees came out in 68 69 but they're original the all submarine keychains they're the same on both sides but I have all four There's also a um, character set, like Butterfly Stomper, Blue Meanie, stuff like that. And um, those I don't have. Those are really hard to come by. I mean, you do find them, you can get them one at a time. And they're very, very expensive. These four are the cheapest out of all of them that are out there. Now, this one completes it. This one's really tough to find. But it's the same on both sides. But yeah, this one out of the four characters in this, that one's the hardest one to find. Then I have one, because I haven't been able to find the rest of them, Beatles Wallet Dollar, that goes in the, the gumball machines. There's a little paper Beetle Dollar in there. But these came in gumball machines back in the day. One of these days I'll get them all. It just hasn't been high on my priority list. You know, so. But I've had this one for quite a while. Plus these get faked a lot, so you're not, you're not sure what you're getting when you buy them. You know. So, next, what I have are, believe it or not, all my Beetlefest tickets. All the way from, sorry about the glare. 1980 to 2017 that was when I went and seen the Beatles Love show in Vegas back in 2007 I really need to go back and see it but yeah this is all of my Beatlefest tickets I don't know why I kept them I just did and then these are my concert tickets. Say Wings Over America. It's an original Beatles ticket that they were selling because they came across a stash of them. Julian Lennon, George Harrison's tour in '74, various Ringo ones, Paul McCartney drive. I think it's the Driving Rain tour. Um, this was the Off the Ground tour, Flowers in the Dirt tour. 
That's a Ringo. That's a Ringo. That's a Ringo. That's a Ringo. And this was the Wings Over America tour in '76. But yeah, I I like these cases. These these work really well with this stuff. And if you excuse me one second, I have one more case, which I have to open. It's a pretty big one. And the table I use isn't very big. So, as we move on, Ringo Starr, Liverpool 8. It's a USB wristband. I think it was an experiment they tried with a bunch of albums back in 2008. And um, you would plug it into your computer. Whoops, sorry about that. And the whole album and everything is on there. I thought it was unique. That's why I bought it when I did. Then we have a little Beatles. It's not really a fold-out book. It's not a diary book. There's a little snap on the back. These came in tons of different colors. But there's all kinds of pulled out mini beetle pictures in there. I don't want to pull on it too far. This is an original from 64. Like I said, there's various different colors. Uh, mine doesn't have the chain with it, but... And then, the, from memory, almost full, the Starbucks gift cards that came out when he was on their record label. The Paul McCartney Driving Rain Tour pin. I have the original Beatles diary, which there's uh, pictures in here. And it's from 1965. And then it's got places for you to write. There's bios on the band and stuff like that in there. Calendars. But there's absolutely nothing written in it. It's actually in really, really good shape. Not too difficult. This piece here, I'm hesitant to show up, but... I didn't know when I bought it, but this is actually, these were made as a fake advertisement. These aren't real. Um, but back when I bought this years ago, I didn't know that. You know, but I think it's kind of cool, so I just kept it. It's no big deal. And these came out in 92. They were selling them at Beetle Fest. That's a John Lennon Imagine pewter pin on the card. Then I have two Beatles headbands from 64. These are, for, these are all original, still sealed in the package. Then I have the, and this is from Germany. It's a D Beatles pennant. This is original. There's a set of four for the uh, four Beatles. Those I don't have, but. And then we have the original 64 guitar pins. These look like they just came out of the box. But I want to point out that the backing cards on these are actually authentic. All the fake ones are straight edged, they're not scalloped. Um, all these scalloped cards are the original ones, plus the button is a plastic bubble and the picture is inside of that. It's not a button glued onto the top of it. If it is, those are fake. But I actually have five different, I have one for each beetle. And the group one. But some of the stuff you got to be really careful, unless you don't care, you know, if it's original or if it's a uh, repop or whatever. And then the last one I have here is Ringo Starr. 
But that's all the stuff, well, almost all the stuff that I have in my little Riker cases. Um, thanks for watching. Don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. Got any suggestions, let me know. Till next time.